If I close the MIDI editor, I can copy and paste this part by holding down the Alt key and dragging it. Because I've sized it correctly and quantized it correctly, and I have snapping switched on, I'm able to just very easily copy and paste parts around without worrying about them going out of sync. In this second instance here, I might want to, for example, add a couple of extra hits. So if I find my way around the keyboard, there's a couple of nice gentle toms there. What I could do is I could record over the second part and just add in a couple of very simple hits. Simply by moving the playhead and overdubbing. Okay, and if I open my MIDI part, here's the part I just overdubbed. I think that first section doesn't need to be there, so I can delete that, press the backspace key. I can select these other notes that I did play. I can press the Q key on my keyboard to quantize them, just pull them in. Of course, like with any MIDI in Cubase, you're able to edit this fairly freely. So if I zoomed in a little bit, I could transfer that hit to a different note. Or maybe I decide I like it better where it was. So now we're starting to build up a fairly simple part, as you can see. What Cubase has actually done here is it's recorded different loops. So if you look on the lanes here, you can see that the second part I recorded is actually recorded into a separate lane. Now that's quite useful because it enables me to then separate off, for example, the toms that I just recorded. I could have those as a separate part if I wanted to. You're also able to merge them down into one single part as well. I'm going to put that back for now and I'm going to not view lanes so it looks like single part. 